Luca Universe and the Austrian league is back. We have a few Austrian teams there, although not a very happy uh, comeback, I must add to all of that. But yeah, we had a German cup, uh, we had Austrian cup action, we had a teeny bit of German cup action, and uh, no, not action, but we had a German cup draw. <laughs> uh, gotta get it right. And then we had a rather, what well, it feels more Manchester Bundesliga round, because I, we are has having along, but I think Bayern are now champions. But I think that the race for the Champions League spots got a whole lot more interesting thanks to this round as well. And we have a Dortmund team that doesn't even qualify uh, the, for the title of being a contender in any way. If they could keep playing like this, uh, yeah, I have to say, I mean, um, didn't see much, but from what I heard, uh, so. Uh, they played a shambles and I'm getting really annoyed at Dortmund uh, that Dortmund is trying to make this claim yeah we need to challenge for the title blah 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 Leverkusen just steamrolled them yes Leverkusen is I think probably the second if not the third maybe second best team in Germany at this very very moment but still if you're a title contender you cannot defend it's just you can get all this wonderful offensive talent and this is why Dortmund is never gonna catch Bayern I actually think there are other teams that are, have at least better ideas of catching Bayern. That's, that's at least the take I have. We, I also have, have to say, unfortunately, that uh, one of my favorite teams in Bundesliga, Stuttgart, uh, despite getting finally on the score sheet again, they're not looking good. They're absolutely, absolutely not looking good. And that's in many ways a shame because I think Stuttgart is one of those teams that definitely should be in the Bundesliga. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind about that. Okay, I would say we'll start in the Austrian Cup where, uh, you know, it didn't really, no, I had one upset. <laughs> I should say it didn't really have because there was one big up upset, but I started on Friday. It was almost an upset that Floridsdorf, which is like a district in the east of Vienna, held out to Wolfsburg, a team that is doing really, really well in the Austrian Cup, second, third place and so on, uh, but they fell in overtime. Reed, of course, beat Klagenfurt at home. And then the big one, uh, Hartberg, who had already beaten Rapid uh, very early in the season in Vienna, they repeat that feat and win 2-1, despite being 1-0 down after seven, seven minutes. But by halftime, they had it turned, turned, turned around, and then there was not much coming from Rapid. I said, Rapid and then more or less lost all their offensive options in a few ways. And then, yeah, I actually, I if I wouldn't have visited my parents, I probably would have seen more of the Dortmund game and also other games. But, you know, since I was up there, my father kind of invited me. Yeah, let's watch Salzburg last game. I, I, I told him, I, I don't want to watch it because it's always the same with Salzburg. You have the illusion that you might gonna get something. Then either you make a stupid mistake or Salzburg just kicks in the next gear and you have no chance whatsoever. That's exactly what happened again. I think the first half, Lask played really, really, really well. A lot of high pressing, a lot of counter pressing, uh, forcing errors by Salzburg. The problem is that you cannot finish your chances and that you make stupid mistakes. I mean, um, if you have ever the chance to watch the first goal, Lask took a lead in the 40th minute through a deflect shot by Horvat. Uh, there was, I think, a four-on-two situation. You already think that it was missed, but Naragos still gets the ball to Horvath, who takes a shot, takes a flexion, 1-0, and we're thinking, yay! And not even two minutes later, you give him an equalizer through a stupid own goal. Yes, Rena wanted to clear uh, a shot by Sheshko, but it, it is just so frustrating. You are up, and then immediately... Click. Then you have actually a few near misses. I mean, uh, Ragus uh, and um, what's his name? Who's a Balic could uh, just, you know, nice pass pass in. They just cannot connect. And then you give up a stupid corner because you are surprised of how fast on uh, uh, Nuka Tvarczyk, surprised how fast the Salzburg defenders are. Gives away a corner on the corner. There is no matching the opponent. And Christensen unmarked puts his head down and it goes leaps into the corner. And at that moment, that was clear. After the half, Capaldo makes it 3-1. At that point, we were thinking, yeah, it's going to be a 5-6-1 for Salzburg. No, Lars hung in there. Had actually a few chances, uh, but, it, but they were never going to win that one. Uh, it's 
Not that I expected, it, but it was exactly the game that I expected a Salzburg play, uh, that last play as well as Salzburg, but just cannot get it over the line. And uh, it's frustrating. I hate of being always, you know, the problem with Lask is they always play nice and uh, everyone says, yeah, they're playing, they're playing so well. But what we're missing is a lot of punch. We're always the nice guys. In that way, we are a lot like Spurs and me not like it one bit. Uh, the draw is also in interesting because the two top teams, Wolfsburg and Salzburg, play each other. And Hartberg and Reed, also Bundesliga teams, but lower, uh, go for the um, second spot. So uh, it's going to be a favorite against an outsider in the final. Speaking of cup, we also have, of course, German cup action. And before we go to that, uh, we have to see... Uh, the Austrian league is also going to start next week again. Last play in Klagenfurt, that's what interests me. However, the big one is, of course, already Friday Rapid against Salzburg. Uh, yeah, not much to play for. I actually think that, uh, there are a few interesting that could, they could uh, play for last. You know, there's a big race for the top six where, you know, Austria, Vienna is in there. There you know, are many teams in, in there, but, you know, let's go. Speaking of German Cup, now we're going to the German Cup. Uh, speaking of Cup, we have a draw and boy did this make my head explode. I think we have the most cult duel of cult duels. The two teams that are kind of, you know, every outsider's favorite have to play each other in qualifier with Union Berlin hosting St. Pauli. It would have been even nice if it was the other way around, but you know, St. Pauli is doing well, Union Berlin is doing well, except on the past weekend, as we'll see. So that's a big one. Then we have Hamburg against Karlsruhe, uh, second league duel, so um, we get at least a second league team. Leipzig have to go to Hannover, uh, Schuprow win, and then the only Bundesliga duel between Bochum and Freiburg. As I said, I mean, Freiburg, Leipzig, Union Berlin are probably the ones that look at this competition and say, yeah, we have a, the, the chance of the century to finally win a trophy. So, But I think it's a very interesting draw and also getting Hamburg uh, as far in there is really, really nice. Um, as for the Bundesliga round, uh, Bochum, Hertha, 1-1. One, one. A big duel in relegation and it ended with a points shared, but I, uh, I actually always made it. Bielefeld would have won, one, one. I probably would have now gotten out and bought me a Bielefeld shirt, which I've been eyeing for a while because they look nice. I just am afraid that Bielefeld will go down and then this shirt, because you know, I, it can be a nice shirt, but I want to use the shirts for the channel. I'm not looking at the second league. In any case, um, and I was rooting for Bielefeld now because, you know, I look at them, they have nice shirts. They're playing in nice shirts. Uh, Club are playing in ugly shirts. They took an early lead through Serra um, and actually played quite well. However, then uh, around the 30th, Gladbach got back into the game and player gets the equalizer. It's not that I dislike Gladbach, although you're not currently in Lillings, but I have, have to say I really want Adi Hütte to be punished for the treachery he did. And the same thing goes for Rose uh, uh, late in the last season. And then I think a game was back and forth. I mean, Gladbach had a little bit more of the second half, but you know, Bielefeld also could have found the winner. But that was a huge game. Huge game also for Augsburg, who also finally get, get a win and over Union Berlin, who, yeah, they lost at the moment. They lost their big uh, striker, so yeah. Might, might have been uh, the way going there. And super intense duel, only one goal though uh, between Köln and Frau, and a goal came from uh, more or less with a, a brilliant Hillman assist. Uh, watch that goal, it, it, this was a great, great, great uh, team. Uh, team you know, in transition, very quick, 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 but in the great individual effort, putting it to Modest. First half, all Cologne. Uh, second half, Freiburg were coming and knocking big time, but just could not get it done. Uh, they had a goal disallowed for offside because it was kind of, kind of blocked. It, it, it was a really, really intense game, as much as I could see, because I was lying there and my girls were all over me on the couch on Saturday. Um, Mainz get a late win over Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim have been in third, suddenly uh, fall down, down again. And as I say Stuttgart scoring for the first time in a long time, even two goals, twice they could equalize uh, goals by Ndika and Rustic, um, but Rustic gets the win in the 77th, um, Kalajic in the 70th made the equal, and Stuttgart really needed something, but so did Frankfurt, so in a, in a way the 
more, how to say, the more experienced team won. Maybe Stuttgart can take a little bit from it, but it's it's a tough task. And I'm and I'm I'm afraid Stuttgart will play next season in the second league. So I saw all kind of the Saturday evening games, uh, um, Saturday afternoon games. The evening game was Bayern against Leipzig, Milan derby. You understand? I was I was not watching. Where actually Leipzig had a really really good game. They always play well against Bayern, but similar to Lask, they just cannot get it done. And you know, if you score two at Bayern, you equalize twice. You cannot give up three goals and you cannot play it from the back. You cannot give away an own goal in the 58th minute. That just cannot happen. And Bayern completely struck you on the weaknesses. Uh, so again, a good showing goes nowhere. Bayern clear favorites. They were nine points ahead and they stayed nine points ahead because uh, Leverkusen just completely destroyed Dortmund. The first two goals were own goals. I mean, Leverkusen took a lead and Frimpo, uh, threw an Akanji own goal, Frimpong own goal, but then Wirtz, Andrich, uh, Jonathan, and Diaby make it 5 1. All different scorers, and not even Patrick Schick, who has been scoring freely for Leverkusen, has not, has, has not done anything in that game. But you know, he was probably the focal point of the uh, defense. Tigges late pulls from back for Dor, Dortmund, but I mean, SHIT is about to hit the fan there. It is really, uh, Dortmund is a shambles at this moment and there needs to be a big rethink. It's not only the coach, it's all the, it's maybe it's bigger than a strategy. There is this sort of, you have a nice business model, you get a lot of talents, but you need some experience, you need to have team building. Maybe Rose needs a little bit more time, but I, it, it really doesn't matter. Especially the first half when they were winning such a lot, it was always a little bit lucky. In any case. Uh, and then Wolfsburg gets a 4-1 over fifth. Also, big win for them. So, um, as I said, Bayern clear. It is kind of tight for this Champions League spot. There's only on Freiburg, Köln, Leipzig in there. Maybe Hoffenheim, potentially Frankfurt. So, this is a, it's really tight for this. For, uh, for the fourth spot, third spot, more or less will go to Leverkusen. So, those three, Bayern, Dortmund, Lever, Lever, Leverkusen, most likely will end up up there. Uh, but it must still be counted as a disappointing season for Dortmund. Uh, in the relegation, Wolfsburg with that win over Fürth, big boost for them. Um, it stays tight. It stays tight. I mean, Stuttgart is breaking away, Fürth is gone, but then Augsburg, Bielefeld, Hertha, Gladbach, Wolfsburg, you could say even Bochum is in the relegation battle. So uh, the league is tight. Um, which is in interesting. We have an uh, interesting Leipzig Köln game. I remember the first game. That was a pretty intense one. Um, other than that, what do we have? Freiburg Mainz is a kind of an underdog duel. Uh, Stuttgart has to go to Leverkusen. That will be, and then Union Berlin against Dortmund. Pretty big one, I would have to say, because both need to rebound from their losses. Any case, that was it from me from. Austria and Germany. Please let me know what you thought about the games. Give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.